Welcome to S&P Capital IQ's monthly loan market overview clip. I'm Steve Miller, a member of the Leverage Commentary and Data team. Before getting into our market analysis, we are pleased to announce the launch of LeverageLoan.com, a free website promoting the asset class. On it you'll find recent market stats, news and analysis, leverage finance job postings, and an online version of LCD's market standard primer explaining key terms and dynamics in the leverage finance process. A link to the website can be found in this clip's YouTube information box. Over the next few minutes, we'll review recent market trends. In preview, loan prices pushed higher again in April, bolstered by surging CLO issuance. The primary market, however, cooled a bit. Looking ahead, the market is poised for breakout volume in May, assuming there are no disruptive outside shocks. Undeterred by the latest tremors from Europe's long-running debt crisis, the average loan price pushed to a 12-month high of 94.7 in April, lifting the S&P LSDA loan index 74 basis points during the month. For the first four months of 2012, the index returned 4.5%. Where secondary prices continued to grind higher, the primary market hit a resistance point in April as technical conditions came into better balance. Broadly speaking, double B loans cleared in a 4 to 4.5% range, while single Bs printed at 6 to 7%. It wasn't all bad news for issuers, however. Although lending costs inched up, the percent of new issues structured as covenant lights reached a five-year high of 45%. As well, opportunistic deal flow like repricings and dividends continued apace during the month. Looking ahead, the calendar of new loans reached a nine-month high of $32 billion in April, including $16 billion in the all-important M&A segment. The growing supply of new paper in the offing has enabled managers to take a more selective stance towards new syndications and hence demand wider new issue premiums. Perhaps only Derek Jeter had a better April than the CLO market. Indeed, managers inked $5 billion of new vehicles during the month, the most since November 2007. All told, CLO volume added to $11 billion over the first four months of 2012, in sight of 2011's full-year sum of $12.5 billion. Not for nothing have CLO strategists across the board raised their 2012 issuance projections to 20 to 30 billion from 12 to 25 billion at year end. For one thing, the pipeline of CLOs is at its highest point since at least early 2008. For another, the gap between spreads on CLO liabilities and collateral has widened. While the average spread of the S&P LSTA loan index moved sideways in April, AAA tranches of new CLOs cleared at roughly LIBOR plus 130, down from LIBOR plus 145 to 160 earlier in the year. Bankruptcy filings by Hawker Beechcraft and Bison sent the loan default rate to a nine-month high of 56 basis points in April from 21 basis points in March. Still, the rate remains well short of the historical average of 3.4%. Looking ahead, participants think default rates will continue to climb but remain below trend as a result of muscular profit growth across corporate America. To wrap up, a few final points. The market's underlying tone remains positive, if less so than during the red-hot first quarter when supply was contracting. In the near term, Participants believe the bulging new issue calendar may keep upward pressure on clearing levels depending on the pace of repayments and CLO activity. By all account, LBO activity will continue to disappoint in the months ahead because sellers and buyers remain too far apart on price. Participants are hopeful that this gap will close in the second half, allowing for more activity. In the meantime, issuers will stay focused on opportunistic transactions. The new issue calendar, in fact, is chock full of dividends and refinancings as well as cross-border transactions from European issuers looking to tap the cheaper U.S. market. The outlook then looks pretty good, assuming the market avoids a sort of summer surprise that derailed activity in 2010 and 2011. That brings us to the end of our overview. For more information on the loan market, you can check in with us on the web or via LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook. The links for each is in the description of this video below. You can also download this presentation at slideshare.net.